Hello. Did you like my trick? Surprise. It's so nice to see you. What did you do today? You always do such fun things. I like it. Have you ever had a big question? One that you weren't sure about an answer? Or have you ever lost something and needed help? And no one around you knew what to do? I have. One time I was with some friends and we lost our car keys. <sighs> Any ideas what we did? You are awesome. We said a prayer and guess what? Each one of my friends said a prayer, but for some reason, I'm the one that found the keys. It was a cool thing. That was the first time, well, one of the first times, one of the biggest times, that I had said a prayer and had an answer. Who answers our prayers? You are just so great today. Heavenly Father answers our prayers. In the book of Ether, we read about a man, we don't know his name. Well, some people might know his name, but in the Book of Mormon, we know him as the brother of Jared. In this video, we're going to learn a little bit more about the brother of Jared and what he did. He said a lot of prayers. He asked a lot of questions. As you watch, listen for his questions and watch for his answers. See what you notice. Open up your eyes. Here we go. Chapter 51, the Jaredites travel to the promised land. While the Jaredites camped by the sea, the brother of Jared forgot to pray. The Lord came in a cloud to tell him to repent. The brother of Jared repented and prayed. The Lord forgave the brother of Jared, but said he should not sin anymore. The Lord told the brother of Jared to build barges to take his people to the promised land. The Lord told the brother of Jared how to build the barges. The barges were made airtight so no water could get inside. The brother of Jared wondered how the people would have air to breathe in the barges. He asked the Lord what he should do. The Lord told him to make a hole in the top and bottom of each barge. The hole could be opened to let air in and closed to keep water out. The brother of Jared told the Lord that the barges were dark inside. The Lord asked him to think of a way to have light inside the barges. The light for the barges could not come from fire or from windows because they would break. The brother of Jared went to a mountain and formed 16 small stones from a rock. The stones looked like clear glass. He made two stones for each of the eight barges. The brother of Jared carried the stones to the top of a mountain. There he prayed to the Lord. The brother of Jared asked the Lord to touch the stones so they would give light inside the barges. The Lord touched each stone with his finger. Because the brother of Jared had great faith, he saw the finger of the Lord. It looked like a human finger. Then the Lord showed himself to the brother of Jared. Jesus said, those people who believe in him will have eternal life. Jesus taught and showed the brother of Jared many things. Jesus told him to write what he had seen and heard. The brother of Jared carried the stones down the mountain. He put one stone in each end of each barge. They gave light inside the barges. 
the Jaredites went into the barges with their animals and food. The Lord made a strong wind blow the barges toward the promised land. The Lord protected them in the rough sea. They thanked the Lord and sang praises to him. After 344 days on the water, the barges landed on the shore of the promised land. When the Jaredites came out of the barges, they knelt down and cried tears of joy. The Jaredites built homes and planted crops in the promised land. They taught their children to listen to the Lord and obey his words. The brother of Jared said a lot of prayers to know what to do. Did he always receive answers right away? No, great job, you were listening. Sometimes Heavenly Father said, you bring me an idea, you think of something, and then we'll talk. That's kind of cool. It shows us that we have to put in some action sometimes, a lot of times. And that's how Heavenly Father can show us what is good. And sometimes he trusts us to make good decisions. And then he helps us know that they are good decisions by feelings in our heart through the Holy Ghost. Now there was something really, really cool that the brother of Jared did. Did anyone notice? Did you notice? Who did he see? This is the coolest part for me that the brother of Jared had so much faith, had so much trust in our Heavenly Father and our Savior Jesus Christ that when he was talking with Jesus Christ about the stones, he got to see him. Oh, that is amazing. I love it. Something very important that we learn from this story is that we have a body just like our Savior Jesus Christ. And we know that Jesus Christ is just like Heavenly Father. So we are made just like Heavenly Father. That is wonderful. How does that make you feel? Think for a moment. I have a body like Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Whew. Goosebumps! It makes me so happy. Do you feel happy? Good. That is the best. Now, I want to play a little game. Are you ready? Look at this picture. Let's see what's the same. Are you ready? Here we go. Now, looking at this picture of, who is it? You got it. This is Jesus Christ. Looking at this picture, hmm, find his nose. Yes! Now, point to your nose. Excellent! Very good. All right, now look at this picture. Find his hands. All right, where are your hands? You are so good. Nice job. Hmm. Do you see his feet? Yes, great job. Where are your feet? Nice work. How many feet do you have? Two. Nice job. Hmm. Does Jesus Christ have shoulders? Point to his shoulders. Yes. 
Do you have shoulders? You got it. Nice work. Hmm. Where is his smile? Can you point to Jesus Christ's smile? Very good. Can you smile? Smile big. Smile big. Oh, very good. Well done. You are awesome. Whew! How was that? How did you do? Pretty amazing, I'm sure. What did you notice? Yes! Your body and Jesus Christ's body are the same. There is a scripture that was shared that tells us why this is. Open up these scriptures. Da, 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 da. Let's read it. The brother of Jared was taught after he was able to see Jesus Christ that we were made just like him, just like our Heavenly Father. That makes me feel so special. That reminds me of how much Heavenly Father loves me, that he made me just like him. And he made you just like him. We are his children. We have a Heavenly Father. We have a Savior that loves us so much that he wanted us to know that we were made just like him. I know that you are loved. I know that your prayers will be answered. Big and small, Heavenly Father wants to help you. Either make good decisions or help you find the right path. He wants to help you and he wants you to know that you are his child. That is why we are learning such amazing things like being created just like him. I know these things are true. I know Jesus Christ lives and I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.